as we sit comfortably in padmasan that is the lotus pose by bringing our one leg on top of the other at the heel this is the lotus pose please make sure that you are sitting comfortably in the lotus pose please open your eyes and see lotus pose padmasan and fold your hands in front of the solar plexus interlocking the fingers and then just lifting the middle fingers in a namaste this is a very important mudra it is called matangi mudra sitting comfortably in the lotus pose padmasan bringing your hands at the solar plexus folding them at the knuckles in a prayer and bending them further point both the middle fingers up pressing and placing against each other direct your attention by closing your eyes on your breath in the solar plexus area the upper stomach central diaphragm area the matangi mudra strengthens our breathing impulses convert shallow breathing into complete breathing it balances the energies in the solar plexus area and stimulates the wood element there it represents new beginnings and gives life literally rejuvenating helping the heart stomach liver duodenum gall bladder spleen pancreas and kidneys all benefiting with the matangi mudra staying in matangi mudra continuing to keep eyes closed start with kapal bhati active exhalations passive inhalations continue it's quite a pull on the wrist nerves if done correctly and if we are out of practice we do kapal bhati of our choice in matangi mudra in case we opened it up we once again fold our hands in front of our solar plexus the upper abdominal stomach central area pointing both these middle fingers placing them against each other and continuing this phenomenal shodhan kriya called kapal bhati clean off your nasal passages feel refreshed and rejuvenated regardless of whether you overslept or underslept activate each and every organ with a combination of kapal bhati and matangi mudra especially the heart stomach liver duodenum gall bladder spleen pancreas and kidneys
prepare to discontinue Kapalbhati for now, to restart it soon, once again. Continuing to stay in Matangi Mudra, pretty low at the solar plexus, not too high, pretty pressed at the palms, To start with Ujjayi inhalations, Kapalbhati exhalations. Inhale in Ujjayi the throat breath and do seven Kapalbhatis. Inhale in Ujjayi Galaswasan. Seven Kapal Bhatis. Start all the first ones with the Kapal Bhati exhalations. Inhale in Ujjayi. Seven Kapal Bhatis. Again, Ujjayi Besas Lijiye. Pura. Kevala Kumbhak may hold kare. Or uske baat turan kapal bhati. Saat baat shuru kare. Continue this. One ujjayi inhalation, seven kapal bhati exhalations in Matangi Mudra. Discontinue Ujjayi inhalations and 7-7 Kapal Bhati exhalations. They say Matangi Mudra can be done anywhere between 4 minutes and 7 minutes. So let us open up our Matangi Mudra. It can be done 3 times a day for 4 to 7 minutes to get all the benefits that were mentioned for activating the heart, the liver, the stomach, the gallbladder, the spleen, the pancreas, and the kidneys. To restart it in a bit. We now move on to another fabulous pranayam called Surya Agan Pranayam. The right hand comes in Nasagraha Mudra where the index finger and the middle finger are touching the thumb joint. Surya is the sun, Agan means heat, to produce a kind of an Agni which is in the Jathar, which is in the abdomen. We close the left nostril with the ring fingertip and the middle fingertip and we inhale and exhale with the right nostril. making sure we are definitely in the lotus pose Padmasan, that the spine is upright, that we are not rested back on a headboard or a backrest or a chair back. Due to hyperactivities, hypertensions, 
problems, stresses, sound pollution and other pollutions. It is always unfortunate that the right nostril is generally more open than the left. But Surya Agan is done if the right nostril occasionally closes and we want to do any activity which involves physical and mental involvement from digestion to working, from applying the mind to being in the office, from cooking to running errands. It is the right nostril that is required to be open. And in case it is closed at that time, Surya Agan Pranayam helps open it. And we convert it into Surya Bhedan Pranayam now. So we inhale from the right nostril, close it after filling our lungs and exhale from the left. This will help remove any residue, undigested matter in the abdomen and continue the strengthening process of keeping the right nostril open when it is supposed to stay open during active moments. Inhale from the right, exhale from the left. Eyes are closed. And it is a one-way traffic. So visualize the inverted V shape. When you inhale, consciously take awareness of cool air going up the right nostril. Surya, the right. Pause in Kevala Kumbhaka just for a moment or two. A very Kevala pause. Close the right nostril. Open the left. And exhale completely. Close the left again and reopen only the right. Concentrate and focus. Anytime the arm is used, if the shoulder hurts, we can just bring it down for a moment. Bring the arm down and do a skanda chakra only if required. Only if the shoulder is hurting. Otherwise, don't take any breaks. Keep going. Agan is one way. Bedan means piercing. Bedana. Again, one way. Agan is right, up and down, in and out. Bedan is right and left. Again, back to right and left. Last round. Bring the hand down. Continue keeping eyes closed. Let's now reverse this to do Chandra Agan Pranayam. Right hand again comes in Nasagraha Mudra. Close the right nostril. Inhale and exhale from the left. Apne daya hat ko Nasagraha Mudra me lai. Daya angutha thumb se. Dai nasika ko band kare. Bai nasika se saas. पर सांस लेने की प्रक्रिया शुरू करें बाई नासिका से सांस ले बाई नासिका से सांस छोड़े चंद्र अगन प्राणायाम
just like in Surya Bhedan, it is often required for the left nostril to be remaining open. In times of quietitude, times of meditation, ready to sleep, post hyper moments by way of thoughts and physical activities, mansik and sharini. If the right nostril is too activated, we close it to open up the left blocked nostril just in case. With Chandra Bhedan Pranayam. Notice how a hyper mind gets quiet with a left nostril being open, especially if done in Padmas and the Lotus pose. And then convert this to Chandra Bhedan Pranayam. So inhale from the left nostril, consciously taking awareness on this tall triangle towards the center of the eyebrow. Close it, lungs are full. Exhale from the right nostril. Consciously taking awareness from the Bhumadhyaya eyebrow center as air gently goes out and down, the deoxygenated air from the right nostril. Lungs are empty now. Close the right again and continue this process. Bhai nasika se saas le, dai nasika se saas chode. Bhai nasika se saas le, dai nasika se saas chode. Keep going. Left nostril inhales, right exhales. Do the Bhedan Kriya well. Pierce it. Bhedana. It's even better if the mind eye mind's eye travels along the inverted V shape. Last round and bring the hand down. We once again come into Matangi Mudra, a very important and beneficial mudra. By folding our hands in a namaste and then dropping the fingers all the way down to the knuckles and pointing the middle finger all at the solar plexus to start with Bhastrika. 
after repeatedly knowing the benefits of matangi mudra on the kidneys the pancreas the spleen the gallbladder the duodenum the liver the stomach and the heart let's combine bhastrika with this awesome mudra the bellows breath inhaling and exhaling actively either from gross to subtle or subtle to gross or just one pace at gross or just one pace at subtle or changing the paces all is well all we are doing is the prakriya the process of activating our lungs opening them up to get fresh oxygenated air so that that blood gets oxygenated moving on from the respiratory systems to the circulatory systems in matangi mudra so that oxygen reaches all the way to the duodenum the pancreas the spleen the liver the heart the lungs the gall bladder the stomach it's fine to take pauses it's even greater to restart continuing to say matangi mudra let's discontinue bhastrika now to do samavritti pranayam inhale to a count of 8 exhale to a count of 8 simple ujjayi inhalation inhale 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 exhale 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight samavritti pranayam in case eyes even open up it should be only for with un mani which means a mindless eye opening non judging about whatever you see in front of or around you better still eyes closed a combination of three things a mudra and two pranayams the mudra being matangi the two pranayams being samavritti and ujjayi multiple benefits asadhya rogo se mukti freedom from so many diseases last round
without any haste. After this exhalation, open up the Matangi Mudra again to get ready for three stage pranayam. Continuing to breathe in Ujjayi, bring your hands at your waist, elbows out like wings. Thumbs are behind, four fingers in front. Thumbs towards the lower thoracic spine, pointing towards the center. Palms are parallel to the Padmasan thighs. The other four fingers are pointing towards the navel. And we start with three stage pranayam in Ujjayi. The ratio four is to four is to six is to two in the Puraks, Antar Kumbhaks, Rechaks, and Bahir Kumbha. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Empty lungs, two. Pura, two, three, four. Antar Kumbha, two, three, four. Recha, two, three, four, five, six. Bahir Kumbha, two. Continue. On finishing this last round, slowly slide the hands up in such a way that we do a thumb press in the armpits, a kriya which is also to open our blocked nostrils. And continue the same ratio, the same process. Urak Antar Kumbha, Rechak Bahir Kumbha, ratio 4 is to 4 is to 6 is to 2. For the second stage of the three stage prana, all in Ujjayi with tongue drop.
Last one. To come to the third stage, lift your arms, let your palms go behind below the nape of the neck in such a way that the bicep area touches your ear lobes. Elbows are pointing the ceiling. And we continue. Three stage pranayam, the third one, the last one in Ujjayi ratio four is to four is to six is to two. Pura, Andar Kumbha, Recha, Bahir Kumbha, in Ujjayi. Last round. On finishing the last round, continue keeping eyes closed. Continue staying in Padmasana. Anytime you do three-stage pranayam, if you can't sit in Padmasana, you can also sit in Vajrasana. And notice how you feel at that at this time. Matangi Mudra in with Kapal Bhatis, with Bhastrikas, buffered in between with Surya Chandra Agan Pranayam, so Surya Agan Pranayam, Surya Bhedan Pranayam, Chandra Bhedan Pranayam. A repetition of Matangi Mudra with three stage Pranayam. giving us multiple benefits, mind and body, sharirik and mansi. With this, let us prepare to end today's session by slowly opening up any mudra in the hands, if at all, taking the mind's eye to the palms, energizing the palms, and as soon as we feel that urja, that pranic shakti, that prana, by way of a tingling, because the mind's eye is there, we bring them together for a good rub to do a round of palming. Rub with a gentle press, not too fast, not too slow. Feel the warmth in the hatheli. Cap them on closed eye. Open and close your eyes in darkness. Stroke the rest of your face, cheeks, jaws, neck, open areas. Slowly, not with the intention of finishing off. To transpire, transmit the urja from the eyelids to the eyes to the whole body. And then slowly open your eyes and run. Thank you all. Hari Om Tat Sat.